Andrew, good to be back at JJ Hardy. Yeah, it's great to be back. Good to see you as well. I think uh, the first, I want to start with this because this machine sitting here was a machine that we reviewed at Leader CNC. Uh, you, you inquired about it through MTD. How long has it been here because you bought it? It's been in about two months, I think, now. Um, and why, why did you buy it? Obviously, you, you've seen the video, seen it on MTD, but what was, what was your reason behind the purchase? No, knowing the brand, without knowing the machine in detail, I did a search, found it through yourselves, went and looked at the machine, was very impressed with it, and we placed an order that day. I, that quickly, went that in, quick. saw it? Yeah. Now, it's been, in, it's been in for a little while now. It's, it's actually cutting in anger here because yep. so, some people might look at a Kitamura and they might say it's a smaller machine, uh, it's nimble for machining high-speed aluminiums. This is proof that that's There's not just the case. Th this is cutting cast iron now. What we learned with the mill tap type machines, a BT30 spindle, we're confident that that machine, that, that size of spindle can do this machining. The geometrical tolerance accuracy on this machine is doing them even better. So you have been doing this work on other machines in your machine shop, which I think you mentioned to me were twice the size and twice the cost. Is that right? Uh, 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 this machine is, is half the cost of the machine I was previously doing this component on, and it's half the size. Right. And you talk about uh, accuracy and stuff like that on a machine like this. The parts that you're doing here, are, are they commanding tight tolerances? Very, very tight tolerances, you know, 0.02 of a millimetre, dealing with the temperature change, and, and this... The accuracy of this machine holds them superb. And on the speed, how, how fast does it run? How fast does it operate, i.e. the spindle and the pallet change, etc.? Uh, the tool change is about a second. I think we've got 15,000 on the, on the spindle, and it's three or four seconds at the most for the pallet change. And would you be running at those speeds on cast iron? We're running at, on cast iron, yeah. Really? Wow, OK, that's impressive. I mean, that must be a combination of good tooling as well yeah. as the machine. Well, uh, again, the, our preferred suppliers, we know the tooling. We're going to hear some cutting there and, you know... Can I ask who that tooling supplier is? Uh, this is a Tagitech um, product that we can hear working now. OK, so have, have you worked in collaboration with Leader, Tagitech and, and on fixturing as well with a supplier? We, we've in-house um, done the tooling solution for the fixturing. Tagitech, in fact, they've been in today and have given us some, uh, a new drill to try tomorrow, which is really good. It sounds like there's quite a depth of cut happening in there as well on that car side. What, what would that be on a rough inside? I think that's a couple of millimetres depth of cut. Tell me about this control as well, Andrew, because you're not used to the Kitamura machine. It's your first one in here. Yeah. Have you uh, been able to take programs out of other machines yeah. or other controls and put them straight so, in? So our, our um, existing programs were taken onto a memory stick, into the control, and after a day's training with Leader, um, my supervisor got the, got the machine up and running. How many hours a day is it running now? It's now running 24 hours a day. Are you running 24 hours a day? And is it always cast iron you're cutting at the moment? Or just doing the one job. Okay, will you, will you use this then on steel and alleys as well? Is it versatile enough? It's versatile enough. When, when we machined the fixtures, the steel fixtures, it, it was no problems at all. We machined some aluminium fixtures, and the, the only problem we had was the, uh, the amount of swarf and chips we produced. You got that one in. We'll come back to that as well. Um, I just want to, I can't stop this without talking about Leader CNC yeah. because they're, obviously they're the supplier of this machine tool. Yeah. Um, how, how have you found that journey with them from start to finish? Well, again, dealing with Leader was really, really nice. Um, I, I dealt with the financial director, Steve, and, and Mike, the managing director, and the attention to detail was really good. Yeah. Very pleasing. Would it be fair to say then that you've been pleasantly surprised at what you can do with this type of machine? Very pleasantly surprised. The, the, uh, the size of the machine and the footprint of it will, will make the same rate as we're machining on a machine that's twice the size on these components.